It's PC TV with your anchors, Cameron Villa and Jake Campbell. Our infield reporters, Matt, Blake, Sadie, Claire, and Trevor. And Braden Charlton on sports. Reporting from Bishop Carroll High School right to your classroom. Hello, and welcome back to Bishop Carroll TV. I'm Jake Campbell. And I'm Cameron Villa. Now, no doubt the biggest change to Bishop Carroll this year has been the new community system. And in an effort to gain a better understanding of the system, I took to the field to see how they are working thus far. Ms. Johnson, how well do you think today went? Oh, it was wonderful. Very much better than, um, you know, what we hoped and expected. And I think it was um, well received from everybody. Okay, yeah, I'll, I'll say. On a scale of one to 10, how much fun did you have today? Um, honestly, I about a 10 because I got to meet new people that I haven't met before and that's pretty cool. Excellent. Those communities sure are looking promising, huh Jake? Indeed, indeed. Now, as I'm sure all of you are dying to know, we have the new U Cup standings. And in first place, we have St. Maximilian Colby at 66 points. And at second place, we have St. Philip Neri at 58 points. And St. Sebastian and Therese are tied for third place with 56 points. And these standings do not include the tennis match on Thursday, as those points are still being tallied. Fantastic work, everyone. Now, the new school year not only means a new community system, but new students as well. We here at the broadcast decided to give them a warm welcome. Our infield reporters Trevor Taylor and Sadie McKee have the story. It can be tough transitioning to a new school, let alone becoming a freshman here at Bishop Carroll. Going from the top of the totem pole right down to the bottom again can be quite an awkward experience. So Sadie and I have produced a list of tips for you fresh fish on how to survive your first year here at Bishop Carroll. Speaking of which, where is Sadie? I've been in there since last year. Classic Sadie. Do the sign of the cross. Ah. Always make sure you do the sign of the cross with the chapel. Always remember, Tuesdays and Thursdays are Friday, so make sure you get your prize. Five minutes is plenty of time. Don't run in the hallway. Date Schmate. You can just go to the dances with your friends. Man, school is stupid. Getting involved sucks. Hey! Oh. School is cool. Get involved. Follow these lists of tips and I can personally guarantee you a great year. Now back to Cam and Jake. I'll see you guys next year. Wow, those are some hot tips, huh, Cam? But not as hot as that recent solar eclipse. We're joined today by our very own Matthew Kelly and resident eclipse expert, Mr. Davidson. Take a look. So, Mr. Davidson, where were you at the time of the total eclipse? I went to Nebraska near a small town named Geneva. Okay, that sounds cool. Uh, were you able to see the total eclipse or just part of it? I saw the entire eclipse from beginning to end. Um, we didn't have any clouds, so the totality was very clear. From where I saw it, there were a bunch of clouds that we couldn't see any of it. Um, did you use any protective glasses or like a telescope to view it? Um, I used uh, special glasses that I got from a K-State professor, and also I had a uh, small spotting scope that we viewed with. Okay, and can you give me one word to describe this event and experience? 
is awesome. I've been waiting 47 years for this to occur and finally got there. So this is your first eclipse you've ever seen? Total first eclipse. total eclipse, yeah. Sounds really cool. Waiting for the next one. <laughs> Thank you very much, Mr. Davidson. You're welcome, Matthew. Thanks, Matt. And now here to kick off the sports season is our very own Braden Charlton. Coming at you. Thanks, Jake. Cross Country hosted the Lake Afton Invitational this past Saturday, with the girls finishing third while the boys finished second. Leading the girls was Claire Winter take, finishing second place. Matt Harding finished third on the boys' side. Soccer has two wins against Mays and Liberal, and a tie with Capen. Girls Golf took second at their first tournament. Tennis is now 3-0 in the city lead. Volleyball split the triangular Wednesday against Capen and East. They have a tournament tomorrow at Valley Center. The football team is on the right trail so far after a 40-35 victory against Northwest last Thursday. The next game is tonight against Salina South, with the theme being BC Attire. Come out and support the team. That's all for sports. Back to you guys. Thanks, Brayden. I'm looking forward to hearing more as the school year progresses. Indeed, indeed. Now, Bishop Carroll is attended by hundreds of students. However, many are unaware of the various activities that encompass the day in the life of an average Bishop Carroll student. To learn more about the sports, clubs, and hobbies students enjoy every day, we sent out two premier reporters, Blake Freeman and Claire Gunner, to investigate. Hey everybody, welcome to Day in the Life of a Football Player. I'm Blake, and here with me is defensive end Isaiah Carter. How are you doing today, Isaiah? Not bad. How about you, Blake? Oh, can't complain. So Isaiah, what do you got for us today? Uh, I'm going to run through a hitting drill with you guys. All right, let's get to it. Good guy. All right, let's roll it over to Claire with the offense. Thanks, Blake. Today I'm here with third-year quarterback Cade Becker. How are you doing today? I'm doing good. All right, today I'm going to get a taste of what it's like to receive a pass from the quarterback. Today, I think we both got a taste of what it's like to be a Bishop Carroll football player. What are your thoughts, Blake? Sounds good to me. Thank you, Blake and Claire. Now here to put a new spin on the morning announcements is the MC Treehouse. Yeah. This bulletin I'm rapping, no more watching, no more napping. Get your hands ready for clapping. This bulletin would be born without me rapping, rap, rap, rap. Rapping. Chicken tender, mashed potatoes with corn. Coming up, raise your wings, eagle born. Wheat roll, fruit cup, pay your fees. House sandwiches, hot ham and cheese. Get your money and don't bail. Get your money with the trash bag sale Shout out to new teachers and new staff Cause they make a great stride To make sure we have equal pride Vote for our mascot, he needs a new costume Vote right now, vote in your classroom Don't forget the schedule is extended Cause this is it, I'm out, gone, ended